Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech, and welcome to Tech in a Nutshell, the show in which everything that needs to be said about a topic can be said without any bullcrap or evoking an existential crisis. And today, we're going to be talking about back button hijacking. So you're casually browsing the web and you find a link to something you think might be interesting. Very quickly, you find out that it's actually not, so you click the back button in your web browser only to have the same page reload. You click it again, but no luck. I'm sorry to say, but your back button has just been hijacked. Wait, what? Let me explain. You see, the back and forward buttons in your web browser simply navigate you across pages that are stored in your browsing history. Back button hijacking is a form of history manipulation that keeps you stuck on a certain page by inserting a redirect in your browsing history that always forwards you to that specific page. It works like this. You're located on page A, which contains a link for page B. When you click on the link, page B gets stored in your history, but quickly redirects you to page C. When you click the back button, instead of returning back to page A, which is something you'd expect, you're taken back to page B, which again just does what it's designed to do and redirects you to page C. Now this can be avoided by quickly clicking the back button twice while on page C. However, the trap gets much harder to get out of if you're dealing with a series of redirects. So all in all, redirects are just bad news, right? Well, no. Redirects can be achieved by utilizing different techniques. For example, while using a refresh technique can keep a user stuck on a page by practically breaking the back button function, standard HTTP redirects typically cause no such frustration. Some website owners utilize scripts in order to direct a visitor to any page of their desire when the back button is clicked. They see this as a way of giving their products one more shot when a visitor decides to discard them. The scripts covertly insert entries in the browser history, and they can practically send web page visitors to anything. It could be the same exact page, an ad, or something completely different. And yeah, they can be used for malicious purposes as well. Using the possibility to manipulate the back button in Google Chrome, SEO expert Dan Petrovich demonstrated how easy it is to spy on users by directing them to impersonations of competitor websites. The process went like this. A user would land on Petrovic's website via Google search. He was able to direct them to a fake version of Google search results containing links for fake competitor websites, all of which he had control over. When a user accessed one of those fake websites, Petrovic was able to monitor and record things like clicks, movements, scroll depth, and even typing, which means he could have easily obtained emails, passwords, credit card numbers, and other personal data. So what's being done about this? Well, recent entries to the Chromium project suggest that Google engineers are planning to implement a system in which suspicious entries to the browser history would get flagged so that when users hit the back or forward button, those entries get skipped. However, deciding what gets flagged and what doesn't is a tricky task by itself, as a clumsily implemented system could result in legitimate entries being blocked and maybe even some shady ones passing through. That's probably why this feature is still under development, but it's expected to find itself in the Chrome Flags page sometime in 2019. Hopefully, other browsers will make their moves too, and back button hijacking will become just a thing of the past. Yeah, maybe. But that would be all for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.